and I'm just going to create a, a new document. Alternatively, you could use a template, but I'll just uh, create a new document here. I'm going to import file, import, import the stage. I'm going to import the Photoshop file that I just saved, which I called 728 by 90 leaderboard banner. It's going to import that now. And we'll see Flash comes up with this dialog box when we're importing it. And we want to click on each of our layers and convert them to a movie clip. So I'll call this image one. Click on the next one. Make it a movie clip as well. Image two. Third one. Image three. And we want Flash to com convert our Photoshop layers to Flash layers. And we also want Flash to set the stage to our Photoshop size. So we'll do that as well. And I'll click OK. Alright, they've all been imported, so that's great. The next thing that we want to do, I'm just going to move this over a little bit. It's got a bigger timeline. On the left hand side here, we've got all of our, our tools that we can use in Flash. So, to start off with, we've got our timeline, and this is the length of time. And you can see the current frame rate is 12 frames per second. So that means every second it's going to take 12 frames to get there. All right. So <clears throat> um, I'm going to want my animation to go for about uh, two seconds to go through each of these transitions. So I'm going to click out to 24 frames, up to about frame 24. And I'm going to insert a keyframe here. And I want another I want to insert another keyframe. 24 frames on from that. Or make it 12, yeah, 12 frames on from that. Um, so we'll insert it into 60. Probably a mental blank here. Uh, 36. So now we've got our two keyframes inserted. I'm going to do the same for the other layers. Just inserting blank keyframes. So to insert a keyframe, I select a frame and then right click. And I should get this little window comes up and then click insert keyframe. Go out to frame 24, insert keyframe, and right click again, insert another keyframe. Okay, so I've got my my three images. What I want to do is uh, create a, a motion twin. So I'm going to click on my, my first uh, layer or my third keyframe. And I'm going to change the properties here to alpha. So I just need to pull this menu down a little bit. Yep. Selecting the image again, just pulling the menu down. And under oops, color effect, there should be a, an option called alpha, and we want to reduce the alpha to zero. I'm going to go out and do that the same for the next layer. I might need to hide that way. Click on the image properties panel, color effect, alpha, make it zero. Hide that layer. Go over to the third image. Click on that the properties panel and choose alpha again make that zero all right so now that we've done that we can select I'm just clicking and dragging down with my mouse and I've created a blue line I'm going to right click on that blue line and create a, a classic tween and so now if we click up the top where the numbers are and move our mouse while we hold our left mouse down left mouse key down, then we should be able to see a bit of our animation here. I'm going to select all of the frames on the second layer, and I'm just going to drag them forward. 
going to do the same thing the third layer select all the frames just click and then drag them forward as well and now if I hit control enter on my keyboard or control test movie down here should see a preview of my animation and we've just got a bit of white at the end there that's not making it look too nice and that's this background so I'm going to delete that and then here's a trick I'm going to click on the first layer copy the keyframe control C and then go to our bottom layer and hit control shift V to paste it in place. Then I'm going to click on that keyframe and drag it to where the blue uh, motion tween starts of our third image. And I'm going to go to the end and right click again and insert a frame. All right. And then that will fix that the little problem of the white space. So I'm just going to test that again. Control Test movie. We should see our three images looping through. All right, great. So that's the basis of our banner. Now we need to add a little bit of text. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the text tool. And before and make uh, a new layer in our layers panel, I'm just going to type game fishing. Click on the black arrow and just position that sort of in the center and off to the left. I'm going to click on one of our motion presets, fly in left, and I'm just going to click apply. It's going to ask me to click OK to that. And what we should see if we scrub our timeline is that game fishing comes in. We just need to move this dot a little bit further to the left, that's right to the right, so that our count text from the left comes in more. And I'm just going to insert, click and then right click again to insert a frame. All right, and there we have our basic banner ad. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.